Taking a Sundarban weekend tour, the world's most dense mangrove forests can be experienced to cherish for a lifetime. The region is rich in flora, wildlife and landscapes. It is also home to the mighty Royal Bengal Tiger and the saltwater crocodile. Our trip started from Kolkata by car. After travelling for over three hours, we reached Gothkali near Gosaba. From Gothkali, our boat reached at Bali Island, which takes about one hour. It was going to be our stay for the night. In my current blog, I will share my insights as a frequent traveler to the Sundarbans region. Also, I will highlight all the things that a good weekend Sundarban tour has in store for its first time visitors. While some people like the adventure of a wildlife safari, others like to mingle with the indigenous culture of a region's native folks. So as it stands, the Sundarban weekend tour has something to offer for every kind of traveler. September to March is the best time to visit Sundarbans. The summer season from April to June is the worst time to visit Sundarbans. Motorboats are the easiest mode of internal transport. Numerous accommodation options are available around Sundarbans. The cheapest, however, would be to stay in the lounge itself. Nowadays, homestays are also available in different islands such as Pirkhali, Bali or Sojnekhali Island. The location of all these three places is close to the mangrove forest. Ideal duration of a trip to Sundarban depends on your travel purpose. Ideally, a Sundarban weekend tour would be perfect. However, if you have more time to spare, plan a longer trip for the purpose of wildlife exploration. The next day, we started early in the morning. After obtaining the required permissions from Sojnekhali, our long journey through the wilderness started. As the boat moves through the vast stretches of rivers and rivulets, bringing us close to the forests that are so dense. It gave us a feeling that we are being watched by those burning eyes of the creature who is so elusive. Sundarban is the natural habitat of the world's Royal Bengal Tiger and Spotted Deer. Deer is very common in Sundarbans. It is one of the most beautiful deer in the world. The Sundarban has its name derived from the Sundari trees, a new metaphor which helps to bind the soil of Sundarbans. These trees are now declared endangered.
Lesser adjutant is a large stork with a completely bare head and neck ideal for its scavenging habits. The adult's face is red and the neck is yellow while the juvenile has a brownish shade and a white thinly feathered neck. The upper parts are all dark while the under parts are mostly white. Often found in shallow marshes, fields and swamps. The Bengal monitor, also called the common Indian monitor, is a monitor lizard distributed widely in the Indian subcontinent, as well as parts of Southeast Asia and West Asia. They are carnivorous and consume a wide range of prey including fish, frogs, rodents, birds, crabs, snakes, turtles, as well as young crocodiles and crocodile eggs. There are numerous rivers with continuous flow towards the south in case of low tide called Vata. The flow is reverse in case of high tide called Jowar. Spotted deer like to live in flock. In a flock, there are 10 to 15 deer live together. Mostly they live in grassy forest. The main enemy of them is Royal Bengal tiger which is only found in Sundarban. Crested Serpentigal, one of the most frequently sighted bird of prey in Sundarban National Park. This medium-sized raptor is easily recognized when perched by its bright yellow, white speckled undersides and loose black and white crest. It mostly feeds on snakes, earthworms and large songbirds. The brown-winged kingfisher is a large tree kingfisher, have orange head, nape, throat and underparts. The bill and the legs are red. It is found along the north and eastern coasts of the Bay of Bengal, occurring in the countries of Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, Myanmar and Thailand. In India, it has been mainly reported from the Sundarbans region but records from further south near Chilka exist. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical mangrove forests. There are not much sound except that of the wild splashing noise made by the engine of the lodge. And our eyes were constantly going secretly towards the mangroves looking for the golden yellow color, hoping to be one of the few lucky ones. Again we saw a lesser adjutant walking on muds and searching foods. And finally, we got to meet our much desired Royal Bengal Tiger.
after watching the sunset from the boat we headed towards the homestay if you like the video please like share and subscribe and please comment and let us know how you like the video everyone stay healthy and stay well thanks for watching this video